Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Craft Supply. Let's make a beautiful belt out of a simple belt blank. Now, the great thing about our belt blanks, first off, wide variety. Secondly, finished edges, my rivet holes, my oblong, pre-punched. I've got a great length to it, and it is a solid quality piece of leather. Now, this is what's called a pull-up leather. This particular blank is a pull-up leather, and it's gorgeous, chocolate brown, but with a very matte finish. Going to make a gorgeous casual belt. So we're going to drop in a buckle. You won't believe how easy that is. Secondly, we're going to drop in some conchos, and I'll show you how to measure those out perfectly, and some size holes to make it fit. You won't believe how easy this is. All right, so first step, let's set a buckle. Now, I've got a heel bar buckle, so I'm going to need a keeper, a separate keeper. Easy enough, I'm going to slide that on. Now we've got keepers that match every one of our blanks. I'm going to take my buckle, lift the tongue, push that through my oblong, and let the end of the blank slip through the buckle. Goodness, look at that. <laughs> we're, we're almost there now. All right, rivet holes, pre-measured, pre-punch. I tend to like a Chicago screw or a screw post over a rivet. First and foremost, very solid. Uh, secondly, though, if I want to change out my buckle, I can simply unscrew these, put a new buckle in. Now, the easiest thing to do is I'm going to take my belt, I'm going to flip it over, I'm going to drop a screw in the first hole closest to my buckle, and I'm going to put that right on the edge of my marble. That way that loop that goes around the buckle bar hangs off of the marble and it gives me, gives me an easy place to find that screw. I'm going to drop in the mail. Secondly, I'm going to scoop my keeper in. Again. Female from the front, and I'm going to let that keeper hang off the edge of my marble. I can see that clearly. Easy to do. Now, I would suggest adding just a dab of glue in these because they can work themselves out over time. But look at that. Already gorgeous. All right, so let's set some size holes. So, measuring for size, not difficult, but the one thing we do need is our waist size. A couple of ways we can get this. First off, I can take a belt that I wear commonly, look for the hole with the most wear, that'll give me a waist size, or I can use a tape, simply measure my waist. And the last way to get this, and this is if you're going to make more than one belt, which I hope you do, um, it's just a simple size belt. I've dropped in a buckle and I've put a hole in one inch increments throughout the strap, give you a great way to measure a waist size for you or your customers. Now, let's measure this out. I'm going to take my tape. Now, in my opinion, I like to measure from the end of the bend back as opposed to the end of the buckle. This gives me just a little room for error. Now, I measured myself earlier and I'm at 34 inches. So I'm going to come out and I'm going to drop in a mark at 34 inches. Now, let's scoot this down so it's a little easier to see. I'm going to take a straight edge. Now, I'm not big on one inch increments on a belt because it just gets a little too busy. But one and a half at the same time, it's just too far out. So let's do one and a quarter inch increments. Now, here's my size. I'm gonna go inside one and a quarter. Then I'm gonna come out one and a quarter, again and again. That'll give me five holes. I can certainly go more if I would like. Now, we're just gonna take a simple rotary punch. And punch those holes. And the last two. Very nice. Okay, so we've got our size hole in. Now, we're going to add conchos. Now, the trick here, and this can be confusing, I want to add four conchos to my belt. So I have to divide by five. Now, what I mean by that is I want my, my conchos at equal increments across my belt. Like I said, I'm going to add four. Now, I'm going to measure from the center of this screw down to my first hole, and that's right about 30 inches. So, I need to divide 30 by 5, which is going to give me increments of 6 inches. And these conchos are gorgeous, nice antique nickel, and 24 inches. So, equal measurements, that's just what I'm looking for. Now, conchos, simply screw back. So, I'm going to mark at 6, 12, 18, and 24. And I'm simply going to punch holes here. 
just like I did for my size holes. And our last two holes, nice. Now the conchos we're going to use, beautiful antique nickel with a feather design on it. Uh, these are screw backs, there are rivet backs out there as well, but with a screw back I want to remember to add just a little bit of white glue, not to seal it in permanently, but just to tack that in so it doesn't work itself out over time. And we drop our last screw in. Well, it looks great, doesn't it? One more thing, we need to add our English point belt tip punch. Now, if you don't have the punch, easy enough, I'll show you exactly how to cut a clean belt tip without a punch. So, English point, easy to drop in. It's a great, gorgeous tool. Now, I'll typically go three inches past my last hole. So, whoever's wearing the belt, if they're on the last hole, they still have enough room for that belt to go through the, the buckle and the keeper. So, we'll drop in our English point. Clean, beautiful, and professional. Just what I'm looking for. Now, though, like I mentioned, if you don't have a belt tip, not an issue. What I can do is I'm going to mark the center of my strap, and I can take just about anything. In this case, it's a piece of Tupperware. I'm going to scribe in a line, scribe in a line, then with my knife, simply cut that belt tip out. Now, perfect it isn't, but it still looks pretty good, doesn't it? So, how'd it come out? Gorgeous. Beautiful, solid, quality belt. Made it myself, my own design. Simple, yes, but use this as a jumping off point for an unlimited amount of design ideas from tooling and stamping to dye, paint, rivets, grommets, eyelets, braid work, bead work, lace work. Sky's the limit. I hope every belt you make is gorgeous and fits perfectly. Good luck with your projects. Mm -hmm.